Uh, welcome back everyone. So, as you guys know, we have done a lot of things. The world is looking really quite different, and we are allied with the French. Like, of all the things that happened in a campaign, allying with the French was not one of them. I was hoping maybe to get an alliance with the UK back, but that didn't work, so... Yeah. Um, the good thing about this, though, which... Which I never even thought of until just a couple minutes ago. The good thing about this is that what we can do with this alliance is quite devious. We can use this alliance to go conquer and finally go take over the island of Crete. And then, you know, have the uh, French do whatever. But, you know, because the French usually like to win this. Let's see. At this point in time, the French are the more powerful ones. Yeah, we should totally use these. Yeah, I think I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the French power to go and take over some British stuff. And right now the British have no major other powers, so let's do it. Quiet British Isles. France better join in. Thank you. Everyone else is just kinda maybe. Let's see what happens. Persia, we are not surprised. Great, great. Treacherous, great. Okay, so most of my allies did join in and <laughs> oh gosh. Let's see, he's got another 3k, so you guys go over there. So, yeah, this is gonna be the first war since our breakup with Britain. Um I don't know how this is gonna go in all honesty. It's it's definitely a big move, a bold move of ours ever since we've been friends with the British for so long. But I have the utmost faith in the French army of going to go conquering the British Isles. Like, I don't know why, but I have a feeling they're going to conquer the British Isles pretty easily, so we won't have to deal with that, and we're just checking down exponentially fast. Our army is going to be getting the war goal, so that we can easily, easily be getting the upper hand in this. Let's go right here. Ah, oh, yes. Great, great wins. That's all I gotta say. Great, great win. So now we win that. We won the entire war goal. The war is now ours, and we just began. So, ha 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 ha. This is gonna be ours here soon, because that's what we need. Uh, that's what we honestly need. So let's see. Is there any other place I would also need to guard against? All my Ethiopian coloni colonies are gonna be destroyed. None of my South Asian colonies are probably gonna be destroyed because I'm a pretty nice guy. So, ye. Uh, but, let's see. Persia apparently mobilized for this entire event. That was kind of... It's a good, nice gesture, but I don't think we really needed you guys. Um, Eternal Crisis is, is moving. It's stirring, but I don't think anyone's going to join in. Am I correct? No, there's people actually join in to support people. Uh, basically, if these guys join in on these guys' side, Belgium is going to have to give up that land. Which then means Belgium is going to be less of a power, which means they might lose their great powerness, which would really stink for them. But, as you guys can see, the French have slowly overpowered the, uh, the British, you know, that old curse that, that, that kept happening with us every time we, every time we go to war. If you guys have ever seen them go to war, this is what usually happens, so. For once, the curse was not on us, it was on the British. I mean, for once, the curse was actually a good thing for us, because it, paid the price for us and helped us out a lot so yeah I'm insanely happy that that happened and now the French are now fighting the wars for us instead of against us and they're insanely winning too which is good so exactly need to happen that 103 men just got trans I'm seriously wondering how they transport this many men over that canal but you know what? I don't question it, cause it's pretty, it's pretty stupidly amazing to watch all these men transfer over a canal and just watch them all take over the British Isles. Oh gosh. And we basically won already, that's, we already know we won. So we just have to wait for Britain to admit that they are defeated, which usually means they have to conquer London and a little bit beyond, and then they usually give up, but once that happens then, mm, that's good for us, but... Oh my goodness, I did not see that! <laughs> the British have actually done invasions of me. This actually feels kind of hurtful, because we've been friends for so long. 
It's a good thing I have an insanely big army. <laughs> By the way, can they? Can I get to there? Okay, no. They have to go through here. Good. We're just gonna group up all of our men into one centralized position and just hold the line. Hold this line. How much? Okay, we're not getting too bad nutrition. That's good. Okay. Okay, and let's see. Is this our best defender ever? Probably our best defender ever. Okay, they're backing up. We're going to slowly go in just a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, this is this is going to be a this is going to be a tough battle for us to win, especially since we're upgrading all of our soldiers right now. We don't have the same technological advances that the uh, British do. Ooh, oh gosh, that's hurting. That's hurting, but I think we won. We won. Okay, chase them. Chase those guys. Oh my goodness, we just stood up. We just stood our ground against the British. That is gotta be an historical moment in Greek history. We just, oh my goodness, oh yeah, yes, we just destroyed a major British army. Come on, destroy them, destroy them. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Break out, divide and conquer. Okay, go right here. Apparently, some of our militaristic spending has cost us a lot. Um. That's not good. I, I'm hoping that doesn't mean we're in somebody's fear yet, because I kind of like being free right now. Uh, no, we aren't. That's good. Okay, just divide up, conquer back all of our land. Oh, yeah. We, we... Yes! <laughs> oh, gosh, and Flanders formed. What the heck? I, I don't know how that happened, but Flanders formed. Or Walnia formed, and yes! Did they just have like an instant walking access to the British land? I... Okay. I don't know when they added that, but that's really cool. It would have also saved me a lot of men if I had known that there was walking access to the between the canals, but... Yes! Oh yeah, so we gained... Uh... uh Chana and Achillean Islands from the British. Um... It took us an insanely long amount of time to do that. I mean... If you guys look at it, it's been... A long... Long, longest time as a military school than a hundred. Military complex would probably be where we'd want to go, but yeah, that was amazing. We did it. We finally gained more of the Greek lands. I mean, it wasn't against our main enemy, the Ottomans, but I don't think we'll ever be able to declare war on the Ottomans unless by chance, unless by loving chance, the French would love to join in on our side. That'd be the only way we would be able to do this. So, what I'm kind of hoping is that maybe, like, the Russians or somebody else, like... Okay. There we go. Yep. And now, the great and mighty Belgian Empire has been destroyed in just literally two years. Somehow, it got... Somehow, the lower parts of itself were freed from, like, a rebellion. I don't... I still don't know how that happened, but they were freed, and then... I was so close to becoming a civilized nation, too. Wow. Um, and then we have... Oh, gosh. And then this is also increasing. Then we have this also happened. Wow. Belgium, you guys fell apart pretty quickly. Even having more rebel problems. Uh, Austria has become kind of a useless person to be friends with. I will admit that right now. They are useless. Uh, but Persia, on the other hand... Hmm. Yeah, we. The only way this would ever work in terms of an, of war with the Ottomans is that we would need to turn the greatest ally against them. Which means we have to wait until they make one mistake that we can go in and go use it against them. And while we're here, we're also like taking down a lot of the uh, good economy techs. I mean, we're really. Uh, I think we really got it now. We're really starting to become like financially stable. Well, we used to become financially stable now that we have lots and lots of stuff to do. But I'm keeping my education costs really good. Okay, so I think the war for it Italy has finally started. Um, let's see. Uh, restoration of Sicilian province. Yep. So that means Italy is going to soon become its own great power. Uh, it is, Sicily is going to give it its greatest fight ever, but it's they're just not good enough to fight against Italy. Italy has now formed. So Italy will now destroy everyone. And I think Italy is also going to go to war for its province. Oh my goodness, yeah. They're probably going to go for the war for province over here. 
which means Austria is now an officially weak power in this game. Gosh dang, so many things just happened in like such a quick succession. It's like the world is turning like so quickly. I, so many things like I used to be, so many things changed. I mean, I used to be hating the the French and used to be allied with the British. Now I'm hating the British and allied with the French. Oh my goodness, so many things. This is, and you know, now we're starting to turn our people around in terms of you know, wealth. Let's start upgrading some of this stuff over here. So this is pretty much on the lower end of everything. We are having insane money woes, probably because of our education, so I'm going to have to decrease that. Because that's just way, we're losing way too much because of money. Um, we still have no, not enough capitalists to do much in our land. It kind of stinks. But, we are starting to gain some negative economy, which means I might have, uh, hmm. We might have some type of great power owning us yet. Do we? Not yet. Uh, no one's really close of owning us either. Good. We don't want any great power owning us at this point in time. Because that would really stink. If one great power owns us, then we'd really, really be in a bad position. But we are losing lots of our manpower because of, for some reason, we're losing like all the men we were supposed to be creating. Which is kind of weird, so I guess, where's one of our bad armies? Wow, they have just men, if I were to declare war right now. <sighs> okay, wow. Well, let's just wait, I'm going to see what happens. Give me some more prestige. I'm going to see what happens if I were to declare war. Would they join in? Likely. Let's go for it. Yes! Mm. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! The Ottomans are now dead. It's time for me to strike back. <laughs> oh yes! So finally, after so much time, it, it's ironic that the French are the ones that are actually going to be bringing me back to this point in the game where I'm actually going to be a great power but we're, we're going to take over the Ottoman Empire as quickly as insanely possible Just go in go go my soldiers they're already they can't get the other men blocked up already because they already have half of the land blocked up due to the Ottomans already being there oh this is so nice this is so nice uh, the French are probably going to be a little bit backstabbed over here for a little bit but I'm pretty sure once they get all their wars done over here, they'll be fine. Yeah, one, they just need to finish up the uh, Italian restoration of Sicilian provinces, and they should be fine. They basically have all the land over here, so they just need to finish up that over there, but yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm... Now, now you get to feel my wrath, Ottomans. You guys get to feel my wrath. I've waited almost years for my revenge. Years! This... This is finally what you guys deserve. Attack at both times. Just destroy their army. Obliterate it. I don't even want to see it on the map anymore. Yeah, we're going to obliterate everything they have. This is... Ultimately... This is... This is... This is revenge. This is all quite honestly revenge for all the stuff they did to us. Mmm... And we'll win this pretty easily. We just have to wait for a couple things. Yeah, we already have the war targets. I want to, if I can do it, I want to add as much as I can to this war. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Just keep conquering everything of theirs. Okay, they are getting a somewhat powerful army, but the French have apparently glitched soldiers right there. That's fine to me. If they have glitched soldiers, that just means that the AI won't come near me. So I can just easily conquer all this land. I'm going to go use these soldiers to go break up all those armies over there. Because I don't want these armies to all group up and then kill me. Because apparently they have really insanely good defense. So we don't want that to happen. The French are finally engaged themselves again. Ha 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 ha. Oh, lovely. Just lovely. Look at all this. So... 
diplomatic tensions in East Afghanistan. I don't even know where that came from, but that's happening. So, yeah, and then now all the French troops are now turning their tides over the all over here. Um, Italy is now united great power. Very, very soon, at least. Yep, they're a great power. So, ha! And the Ottomans are now getting turned upon by their once called ally. Oh, this is great. This is like the ultimate insult to the Ottomans. All their hard work to become a great nation. All their hard work of keeping the spheres of alliances great. And I just destroyed it in one move. <laughs> oh. I, I, I shouldn't... I'm going to ask in the comments, somebody please tell me if I really should be taking this much satisfaction from this. Or should I be toning it down a little bit? Because right now, I feel so happy. I'm reconquering all of the land I need to. The Ottomans are now done. It's, it's, it's over. It's over. We've won. We've beaten them. Oh, I almost want to do evil laughs now. I wish I could add more war goals to this. In fact, that's all I'm going to do, is I'm just going to wait until I can add more war goals. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the French will be able to take care of all this for me. In fact, look at this. They're keeping the they're keeping the uh, Ottoman army from even reaching me. It's good that I have no, like, land access over here. Otherwise, I'd be pretty worried. Um, Over here, the French are just, like, annihilating everything. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to keep on to the diplomatic screen. Because... I don't really need to be moving in anymore. I just... Dang it! Oh... Gosh dang it. Oh, but look at that, guys! <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Um... I think I'm gonna have to delete an entire army, though. That's what kind of stinks. Um, yeah, this, this army's kind of useless without the other people, but, yeah, I finally made some headway into the whole s Ottoman Empire, oh gosh, and Italy is about to become its own great power, Serbia is, Romania, oh, Romania finally united, sweet, so Romania might become a great power, and Poland's looking really weird, yes, oh, yeah, I broke the alliance with the Ottomans. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Everything just came up my style by an, an insane amount. With that, I now have like... <laughs> oh, gosh. That's... Okay, I could finally increase education again. Because we really do need education. Let's let's decrease militaristic cost to about 35%. Okay, there we go. But yes, finally another region of ours gained by ancient lands. <laughs> oh gosh. We, oh man, now I really wish we did have capitalist building. Let's see, what are you protective state capitalism? But you don't allow me to build anything. How am I? That doesn't make any sense, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, the Russian. Fa Wait, no, this is my protectionism laissez-faire. Okay, we want laissez-faire, but I think now that we're starting to actually build our own economy, I think we actually need a different economy set up. Hmm. Do we want to go into communism? Do we want to go into communism, people? That's the big question. Uh, state capitalism is the only other thing we can do. Let's go this for now. Just for the Russian, just to kind of appease to the Russians. Invest in this and finally build our first factory. So we can finally get this up and running. Oh, gosh. And now that we finally have some more land, we can finally do more stuff. And there we go! Now all the events of all the railroads are starting to fire off. Internal crises are, are starting to turn up. Um, the Japanese war for Afghanistan. Oh, I see what happened. It was a uh, petty war, and 
We didn't particularly enter in. I shouldn't have any labor strikes yet because I have like no one who works yet. I mean, it's kind of silly, but I really don't. But yeah, it seems like not many people want anything. Could get Jeffersonian, uh, which a lot of the press was still centered by the government. State press only. Yeah, I still don't technically want anyone to really know what goes on in our country, but building our first factories will definitely help us out in terms of buildings and railroads and expenses. Oh gosh, expenses control T. There we go. Let's build all of that so that we can have a very powerful economic resource when we start to build everything and with all the success guys i want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time okay welcome everyone to an episode of you know what we are in it is greece so so many things are happening nowadays it's not even funny we gained so much power in the recent war where we finally took some land from the ottomans and we basically have the upper hand now they have no big alliances. They are at war with different people. They're crushed. The Ottomans are legitly crushed. And I could honestly go to war against them again. I mean, it would gain me absolutely no honor and I'd have to do anything. But yeah, the Ottomans are now crushed. They have their biggest alliances gone away with. Um, we are now like you know, just laughing in their faces, technically. I, I guess that's what we're kind of doing. We're kind of laughing in their faces, like, ha ha, you guys finally collapsed, and, you know, how does it make you guys feel? You guys are a completely and unoriginal nation that has no love from anyone. And I, I, I'm gonna stop talking because, you know what, I think you guys get the point. We beat them. And now we have an opportunity to start expanding even more. In fact, I think that if I go to war with them again, which I might, I may just go in by myself. Um, speaking of which, it seems like the uh, the uh, Italians are going to become a great power here soon, which is going to be pretty sweet to see. You know, Italian pride and all that kind of stuff. We'll get to see them start to come out. And in terms of capitalists, I think I'm also going to start encouraging craftsmen in my main place. So I think I'm going to need a lots of craftsmen. Because we have like, I think we have like no craftsmen in any of our places. So it'd be really good if we have some. And clerks are pretty good too. But craftsmen, we're going to need a lot of craftsmen. To keep our first factory going, yeah. We're going to need lots of craftsmen. But luckily, we have good economics going for us right now. And they're not restricting us anymore. Thank goodness. Okay, I'm already liking this system a little bit better. We just can't go below 25% taxes on anything. That's the only thing that kind of stinks. The Russians are now destroying the Ottomans. Oh, I love this so much. And the Ottomans are apparently helping in some kind of crisis. Let's see. Japan is at war with both Persia and Russia. I don't think they're going to win. Like, I don't think Japan has enough army yet to defeat Russia. So that's going to end up in a very bad state. Party loyalty wise, we have become very, very socialist. So, yeah. But we are starting to have people more and more not get jobs, and more and more people starting to do jobs. But the good thing is, is that we do have industry starting to be built. <laughs> this is the good thing. We do have more and more people starting to be more proactive, more and more stuff being assertive. Serbia is now starting to assert itself a little bit in terms of over here. Yeah. The time, uh, the time for the Ottomans have ended. Everyone's starting to realize it. We are now all banding together to make our own little nations. And the British are now all over me, which is kind of weird. Uh, army size, all this kind of jazz. Get the army management. We Pacifism. I don't want to be a pacifist. Uh, we have absolutely zero, zero infamy right now, too, so... Is there anyone that we could just declare war on to take land from? Like, Romania? Oh, there is fear with Russia. Like, Serbia? We do a conquest war? No, you guys have gotten too big, so we can't do a conquest war against them. Um... 
Hmm. Hmm. I still want to. Egypt's still still a friend of other people. Wink, wink. So I don't want to do that. And it seems like I think the Chinese Empire just collapsed. Because Mongolia and Manchu just got freed. So, yep. I think it just happened. Oh, yeah. Yep. It seems like all the other people but the Chinese. No, the Chinese got civilized too. What is happening? Oh, gosh, the Chinese are civilized. That is not a good sign right there. That is not a good sign, people. And that text is kind of annoying me, so I might actually have to go out of here and actually fix it, but... Oof. That means I think a new market, just an iron giant just entered in the market. Which is kind of scary-ish. Oh, oh, I see what happened. You guys gain power again, and I'm saying nope. Yeah, I'm keeping you guys out of power. You guys have completely messed up my economy a little bit. So, yeah. Keep keep the tariffs on the poor. I mean, keep the tariffs on the rich as much as low as possible. And now there are great wars. Great wars are now becoming an insanely experimental and scary thing. But, I, I don't really care about that. What I care about is the fact that Serbia has become a gigantic giant. Oh my goodness. They have really, really, really done a lot. And now Serbia is like majorly big. And I think they're trying to form Yugoslavia, which is might be good if like Italy attacks right now, but yeah. I think Okay, um Yeah. I think what we're going to have to do guys, I think we're just gonna have to wait a little bit until the time comes for us to finally be able to um attack a most hated foes. So they're going to die anyway, so we just have to wait a second. And that is aggravating me a lot. So I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna save it and just gonna come back in because that really is aggravating me. So yeah, I'll see you guys in one second. 